back to my channel. Hello, vlogsters. It's the night time. You know why I waited till the night time? Because guess what? Look. <laughs> Lisa got in her car and she came to my house to visit. I'm so excited. <laughs> it was really unplanned. It was really unexpected. Um, we decided yesterday. Yeah, like literally we decided yesterday. Exactly. I was just going to say she was just like, Hey, uh, my schedule suddenly opened for the next week. Um, can I come? And I was like, always. You don't have to ever ask. And I'm like, yes. So I'm still crying, but I'll get over it. Um, so you'll be seeing lots of her this week. Um, I did my PT today. I'm so excited from the response from my PT video. I know that... I know that people had trouble believing that I was doing my PT every day, <laughs> but I was. I only just shared it in the beginning when I first got home. Um, but I figured since you guys were asking me about showing you my PT routine that I was still doing it, I, I don't know why. It, to me, that's boring. You don't want to see somebody doing the same exercises all the time. But it was such a positive response to you guys. I'm glad if I was able to motivate anybody to do their PT, which really made me feel good because... That was the whole point. The whole point was to share with you what I'm doing to try to get, you know, the next step further. And um, I'm glad that I was able to motivate some of you. And my bouncy ball, because that's what I've decided out of all the names people are trying to get me to remember, bouncy ball was the one it was, I, was, I was thinking about. Um, my bouncy ball is like purple. I think somebody asked me, it's like a, it's like a light colored purple. Um, and it was two dollars and fifty cents, and Jim got it at Walmart in like the kids section, not like the medicine ball section or any of those things or yoga ball section. Um, Lisa, what are we gonna do this week? No idea. Hopefully, get to the crystal shop. Yeah. Because. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you, did you get them? No, because I don't know if we can sit in the car the whole time, but I wouldn't mind go to the Renaissance store either because I think they have crystals there too, but you know, there's the rock shop and um, so no, I haven't had the opportunity to go out because I don't have the opportunity to go out. <laughs> um, we will make the opportunity yes. to go out. Hey, I've driven this, I've driven there. We can go to Springfield. Okay. You did not drive to Springfield. You took told show Julie, Julie where it was. Lisa drove the first time. Julie drove the second time. Oh, no, you just know. remember going twice. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I drove there once. No, it's okay. I've been trying to get you to drive to Springfield for a while. I'm like, you're like, that's too much of a city. I'm like, well, we can do back roads. But anyhow, I know Dunkin' Donuts is definitely on my list. No. I don't need you right now. Okay, I have my bestie and she can drive my car. You won't take me anywhere. She will take me anywhere I want to go. As long as I don't, she doesn't have to get me in and out of the car, we're fine. Yeah, if I have to get you out of the car, we're just going to turn around and come back home. <laughs> uh, I, I can barely get myself out of the car right now. It's like the blind leading the blind. It's like the crippled leading the crippled. That's all it is. But um, I'm super excited. <laughs> I was like, I said to Jim, I'm like, Lisa's really organized. Maybe she wants to help pack the boxes for the Christmas tree. But we'll figure out what we want to do. Might just want to vegetate. But I think she's tired of vegetating every day, right? Because she's like been doing that pretty much all summer. Yeah. Maybe I'll try to spring for a day at the center and we can go walk in the resistance pool. Do they have a resistance pool at your school? No. Oh. Well, I don't know. I haven't been to the big negatorium. But when will you work? When will you walk? Not at the one where I walk. Okay. No. Yeah, totally. um, <clears throat> but I might have to do that. I might have to take it to the resistance pool um, one day. Did you bring your bathing suit? No. Oh, well, then never mind. <laughs> I probably have one of 17 that she could wear. Maybe not. We're built differently. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm super excited. I know I'm going to be here every day talking to you. I just don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know in what capacity, I don't know what full length of time. Can you believe it's only been four minutes I started this vlog? I feel like I've been talking for 20. <laughs> it's crazy. Jimmy said it sounds like I've been talking for 20. Jim's doing meds, he won't let me help. He didn't let me help clean today. Could you play 
talk to him, please? Tell him that if I feel like I want to help, he has to let me help. <laughs> you don't help. <laughs> so full of crap. All day I was like, can I help? Is there anything I can do? Can I help? He's like, no, nah, just stay here. I'll let you know if I need anything. Wah, wah, wah. Guess where I've been all day. Wah, wah, wah. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. So I got a Dollar Tree mop. The kind we use to use all the time. The mop handle fits on the mop system. The mop system stick fits on the Dollar Tree mop head, but it doesn't screw in as much. So they're the same thread diameter. Sorry, they're the same thread size, just that the, the, the threaded portion of the black stick is shorter than the threaded portion of the mop stick. So they're just like a little bit hangs out, but you can still use it. So I have my new Swiffer head on the short mop stick, which is going to make life so much easier. I can't wait to share that with you one day, probably one day this week. I have been like just doing the area around the commode because of like, you know, because it's gross. But I have uh, like uh, that dental wax. Jimmy thinks it's dental wax stuck on the floor here. So he said he's going to take the, a card and scrape it up for me so that I can finish mopping the whole rest of the floor. So excited. So excited. So excited. Um, my rash doesn't look, it looks better than it did the other day, but not enough for me to share pictures um, again. So I'll probably update you guys next week on that. And I have double appointments on Thursday. And I want to go to the rock shop. And I want to go to one other place. That's the Shricket. He said I got rocks in my head. I must have had rocks in my head 22 and a half years ago. Because that's yeah, when I met you. What the? That's not right. Anyway, hi. I love you guys. Oh, anyway, I was telling you, I did my physical therapy today. Oh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, I cut my mouth. I was eating dinner, and there was a piece of ground beef that was a little, like, well done. And I actually cut a piece, like, you know what you do? When you get a sore in your mouth, you know, like, when you burn the roof of your mouth, it's, it's not permanent damage, but it's just like, oh, just when you think it's getting better. That happens. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hopefully you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But guess what? Peace is here. <laughs> you okay? You back hurt? It, I was just leaning. Okay. Do you need a pillow? Because I sometimes would put, put a pillow in this on my back over there. Nerp. She said nerp. 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 Um, Jim's doing meds. Like I said, he won't let me help. There's no clothes <laughs> to fold this Sunday. Because mom was doing extra laundry this week. She's doing a little spring cleaning in her room, which is pretty cool. And that's it. Got nothing else to report. We started to organize some stuff in the Dollar Tree, but from, in the craft room from the Dollar Tree. But Jimmy kind of like brought them into me and I reorganized it and he brought it back out because he didn't want me to go in there. That means it doesn't look really good. That means you probably put a lot of stuff in there that makes me going to be upset. But I'm not going to be upset because I don't care. You just need to throw some more kerosene. <laughs> what am I going to do with him, huh? I don't know. Can't live with him, can't shoot him. It's against the law. Just saying. That's what my art teacher used to say. She used to say stuff like, if at first you don't succeed, cut off your head and watch it bleed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, she was a class act No, she was really funny <laughs> I think she spent too much time in France <laughs> But listen, I gotta go Because it's a short vlog I love you guys Love you Thank you all for again your support um, If you guys Remember the other night I was talking about The vibrating thing from my My chest we got a, if you want to watch that video, read in the comments. We got a lot of really great tips from like nurses, uh, there's oncology nurses down there, moms of kids who have respiratory illnesses, all kinds of things. So there's plenty of other great tips down there. Um,
check it out. I really think that you guys, if anybody has this kind of issue, really could benefit from that. And that's the only thing I want to tell you. All right? All right. If nobody's told you today that you're loved, don't forget that I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, as always, you can come by and you can hear how much I love you. I'm just saying. Okay. As always, you guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye. Who spiked the punch? Say bye. Eh.